In this video, I'm making homemade bowl custard, which these are the ingredients you will need. First, a mixing bowl, and then some mixers to mix up your ingredients. This is also a fourth of a cup of sugar. Right here is flour. It is a tablespoon and a half, which if you go out and only have teaspoons, the teaspoon is to equal out a tablespoon is three teaspoons. Vanilla extract, two eggs, and of course milk. Now first, you will add your milk, which what you'll add is two cups of milk, and I'm putting it in the cups. You have to bring your milk to a bowl. So we're going to go ahead and put in two cups of milk, and then make have bring your milk to a bowl. And this is old-fashioned homemade bowl custard. It is the first time I've ever attempted to try it. But my daughter loves homemade custard, so anyway, I wanted to make this for her. So I'm going to turn it on the stove. And this you'll have to bring to right at a bowl, make the mixture very hot. While I'm doing that, I'm going to come back and we're going to go ahead and mix all the rest of the ingredients together other than the vanilla extract. Vanilla extract, you have to wait to the very end of the process to put it in. You can see the milk is starting to heat up and get into a boiling point. Okay, while we're waiting on the milk, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. Of course, as you see, I put the two eggs in the mixing bowl. I'm adding, this is the sugar. And again, like I said, it's a fourth of a cup of sugar, a tablespoon and a half of flour, and again, if it, somebody don't realize, three teaspoons make one whole tablespoon if you do not have a tablespoon available. Some people doesn't. And then, take just put a little hint of salt, as you can see, not much at all. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you for just a brief moment. We're going to blend this up really good, the mixture. I won't leave it running due to the fact that I'm sure you don't want to hear mixing and all the blending while making the video. So I'm going to again put it on a pause till I get this blended up and show you how it's done and blend it all together. Got the eggs and all the mixture blended all in together. And as you can see, this is what it will look like. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to add the milk. As you can see, it came to a very good bowl. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to have to gradually pour in the milk as I mix it at the same time. So we'll slowly get the milk in, which is going to be too hard to show in the video. So I'm going to slowly mix and pour in the milk at the exact same time as I mix. Then I'm going to combine it together and put it back on the stove for low heat. So I'll show you after I get this process done also. You see, I've got the milk and flour, sugar, and salt, and the eggs all blended together. So I'm gonna pour it back over here in my pan. Okay. Which I let my burner here cool a little bit, the one I was using. So I'm gonna use it again. And I'm putting it back on the pan. Now, according to the ingredients, you let this cook for, on a very low heat, as you can see. This is the heat on this button. I'm going to turn it on a very, very low heat. And as you see, the mixture, sorry, I do have some little milk here, and I clean as I go always when I cook, so. Anyway, you'll cook the mixture on low. You do have to stir it, which it's on low, but you will have to stir it pretty well constantly. You do not want to take a risk of this getting, you want it to thicken, but you do not want it to get too thick. And the reason why, it will then clabber up. Almost like when you're making candy, if you've ever made chocolate pie or homemade chocolate pie or candy, when it gets too thick and thickens up too much, 
it'll almost look clabbery. Now, you do not want your bowl custard to start looking clabber or anything. You want it to become thick. So, that's the reason why, again, like I said, you put it on very low heat only. And after I get done, they said that thick as you want it to be, what you can see is it's not thick at all. So, as you can see, it's still straining and dripping. They say the old-fashioned way, from what I understand, if you can stick a silver spoon and nothing drips off the silver spoon, it means it's ready. So, my guess would be I'm going to approximately cook this for about 20 minutes. But again, I'm not going to keep you on here for a video all the whole time. So, I will turn it off till when it gets done and show you what it looks like, how it gets thick on the silver spoon and not really dripping off off the silver spoon and again like i said i guess they had more silver spoons back in many years ago and that's how they would tell whether your old-fashioned bowl custard was completely ready and so again you want to continuously stir this and i'm going to say approximately about 20 minutes it will take probably to thicken up but i'll let you know when i reconnect back to the next video of how long it actually took on a rough estimate and if you have a double boiler this would probably be better but without a double boiler you're gonna have to continuously stir this and bowl custard actually would make a good Christmas gift to give to family members who wouldn't love some homemade items for Christmas and after I get done so then what I'll have to do and I'll show you I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator let it chill because most everybody don't want it hot they, they would want it cool and chilled in the fridge so I've got my coke container out here my big one I had so it's ready to when it gets finished I'm going to put it in over in there to chill in the refrigerator and again continuously stir it and how you tell it's done the old fashioned people used to say years ago that if you use a silver spoon and it doesn't drip off the silver spoon. We'll do a test after I get done cooking it. And I'll be have the video back then. Very hot. The mixture is thick. So we're going to do my silver spoon test. So as you can see, it's barely dripping off. And so that means it's ready. Of course, this is a southern drink. And instead of using eggnog, a lot of people in Kentucky like bowl, love bowl custard. But it's not really dripping off that much. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half vanilla extract and stir it all in. I just stirred in the teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract, mixing it all up together. And there's also almond extract you can buy. I want to try it next myself. And as you can see, it's got an egg kind of color to it. It's very thick. But like I said, this is a southern Kentucky drink that dates back for many years for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And... It makes a wonderful Christmas drink. It's supposed to be thick. And it's not a dessert, as some people think. Bull custard is a Christmas drink. And so I put it back in the plastic container. That way I can give it a good stir, stir up. For stirring it, to stir in the vanilla extract really good. Because you want it all blended in well together. And then now I'm going to pour it in my container, and it's got to chill in the refrigerator. So I'll take a few hours to go ahead and chill it, because you do not want it to be really hot. And like I said, this mixture is very thick. So when you start pouring it, you'll probably have to scoop some out. I'm going to show you for just a brief second. I'm pouring it through here. And... Which you can double the ingredients I've used. And like I said, it pretty well would have filled this up. On doubling on my ingredients. And I'll scrape that out here in a moment. You will have to scrape out the remaining of the ingredients. This is a very thick southern drink. And as you can see again, it's supposed to be a yellow color. Because you're adding eggs, vanilla, and things like that. And... Again, in replace of vanilla, you can also do almond extract. And for a little hint of almond taste, to me, that would be honestly wonderful. I'm going to buy some at the store so that way I can have it. I'm adding just a little hint of nutmeg on top. And you can garnish it with a, your glass with the nutmeg in it. 
and as you can see, I just got a little bit poured out because it's still a little warm, but it's still got to finish cooling. And as you can see, it's bowl custard. Anyway, that's how you make old-fashioned bowl custard. Have a great day.